know. Reporting live in Ninica, Kylie Thomas, KOCO 5 News. All right, Kylie, thanks very much. And we want to get to this breaking news. Cowboy Nation in shock right now. It's our next top five story. Breaking news just in from longtime OSU quarterback Spencer Sanders. Evan, he just announced he is entering the transfer portal. The Cowboy QB announced this news on social media this afternoon. Sanders has been at OSU for five years. He's been their starter, their starting QB for four years. He said in part, quote, in the spirit of cowboy culture, I wanted everyone to hear it from me directly, asking for support and respect with this decision for the next chapter of his life. He will have one season of eligibility to play wherever he chooses to go. What a warm afternoon here in Oklahoma today where temperatures have been well above average 72 degrees right now in Oklahoma City. The record high today 77 degrees. It has been a really a nice day because usually when you get warmth like this, you also get some really strong winds, but the winds have not been all that bad right now. 73 degrees currently in Norman as we go eastbound into McLeod right now 72 degrees. So all in all nice day here. Temperatures in the 70s across the metro from Guthrie to Edmond Midwest. West City down to Goldsby, Chickasha, Minko. Bit cooler as you go north and east. Woodward, you're at 66 degrees, but up the road in Cherokee, only in the upper 50s right now. Blackwell to Ponca City right now, 61 degrees, 70 right now, and Stillwater. You can see eastern Oklahoma a bit cooler. Southwestern Oklahoma, 70s and even 80s out there. Enjoy these numbers, please do, because there are some big changes that will be rolling in here starting tomorrow. So we are mild tonight, dry. The winds are light. Temperatures in the upper 60s at 6 down into the lower 60s by 8 o'clock, but not one. Now two storm systems moving in this week. The timeline for rain and how much you can expect to see coming up. Evan. All right, Damon, looking forward to that. Thanks so much. Also following this, a man taken to the hospital this afternoon after he fell down several stories into an air duct at Nicholson Tower on OU Health's campus today. Crews responded to this injury just before 1 p.m. It, it obviously did happen near the hospital, so he did not have a, a very long ambulance ride. Now, early on, we heard reports that this man was in critical condition, but he did, if you saw there, give a, a thumbs up to Sky 5 as he was loaded into the ambulance. We're obviously wishing him the best. Mm -hmm. Sky 5 also over this scene earlier today. Troopers say a student late to class leading OHP on a chase this morning. It ended in Newcastle around 11 a.m. Also, storm chaser Chris Lee and reporter Kylie Thomas were on the road when this happened. They were on their way to their story. Authorities telling KOCO the suspect was a student at OCCC who said that they were running late to class and thought they had a warrant out. It turns out that they actually did not. And that was a bad, bad decision right there. New today, an anti-death penalty group launching one last effort to save a convicted killer's life. Scott Eisenberg is set to be put to death January 12th. KOCO's Alexandria Williams shows us this latest push to spare his life.